Sketch those graphs to represent dependencies. Well, Sketch, the Oxford English Dictionary, defines it as a simply or hastily executed drawing or painting. D don't paint them, draw them. So sketch a graph to show how pressure varies with temperature in Kelvin for an ideal gas. OK, I know that that is a directly proportional relationship, so I'll pop that line there. That is not good enough for an IB sketch. I need to have some axis labels. I don't need those little ticks on the axis. I don't need a title. I don't need units. I don't need zeros. That is sufficient. The following sketch graph shows how the time taken for a reaction to finish is related to the surface area of a solid reactant. OK, two questions. Number one, interpret the behaviour. Well, surface area is small, time is big, and vice versa. OK, so I'm going to say SA is surface area. So the surface area, it varies with the time inversely. One's high, the other's low. You could use that kind of proportionality also, or you can just say it's inversely proportional, the relationship. So how could the graph be made linear? Well, I could plot surface area versus 1 over time, and that will give me a linear graph. Now don't forget, you have to put in the axis labels. And we're done. Proportional and inversely proportional, those are the two mentioned in the syllabus.